What's up, Kipsters? It's been a year since the school shut down, but a lot has changed in the neighborhood. Most notably, this huge apartment building about a block away from the school. There's also some other apartment buildings going in with housing, and there's two new city bike locations, one on the concourse and the other by the post office. There's also some construction going on down to the south, and there's still some staple things in the neighborhood like the Pandora Bakery. There have been some changes to the entrance of the school. We now have a new entrance procedure for our students and staff. We're going to look at the um, students' entrance right now. So when you walk in, you're going to scan the Runva code from your phone with one of the deans. Then you're going to sanitize your hands and complete the health screening if you hadn't done so already. After that, you'll get your temperature taken. Further in the lobby, you'll find the grab-and-go breakfast that our awesome kitchen staff has put together. And you'll take the uh, food up to your pod. And later on in the day, the lunches will be served to your different pods. When you enter the lobby, you'll see on the easel the different room assignments. You might catch Cap in the, running a meeting from the office, or you might see Mr. Brenner or Mr. Goldowski playing some music in the lobby. The halls are quite a bit quieter these days, but students are allowed in a little bit early so they can get some tutoring before their classes start. This is our typical classroom. We've spread out the desks and added these barriers for the different students to help maintain our social distancing. Let's hear what the students have to say. This is uh, the Learning Center? Yeah. How, what's the vibe here? What's it like? Uh, you want to go first? Kind of chill. You know, I haven't seen So what's the difference between being in the Learning Center versus taking classes at home? I mean, at home I can eat anytime I want. <laughs> Get up and get some food. Easy. Okay. Do you think it helps you to focus more? I mean, yeah, because so, like when you're at home, I feel like people slack. Yeah, you procrastinate. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And who gets you motivated in the learning center? You know, Mr. Mr. Cruz. Yesterday. It's kind of like being here. Like yeah. Oh, okay. Like being here is like. And plus, I like I have people to hold me accountable for like the work that I'm missing. So. To maintain social distancing, we're doing a staggered dismissal. Another safety measure that we're doing is testing all students and staff before they start and 100% weekly testing of students and staff. We're doing COVID testing before the students come back to class. The steps are we register you, then we ask the questions and um, make sure that you haven't eaten anything in within 30 minutes or brushed your teeth um, within an hour or mouthwash. And from there, you spit into the tubes. We have here up to two milliliters. And from there, we label it and send it to the lab. And in 24 hours, you get your results either you get a call if the results are positive or if it's negative. If the tests are negative, you will get a text. We'd like to thank Mount Sinai for providing this service. Hi, Mount Sinai. <laughs> KIPP NYC College Prep is housed in a LEED certified building. One part of the certification for being in a LEED certified building is that you take measurements of your air quality. So though our air system is unable to detect infectious agents, it is useful to our building manager and that it assesses whether there is an adequate ventilation in our space. And he can track relative humidity, CO2 concentration, and particulate matter in the air. In the immortal words of our principal, CAP, work hard. Play hard. Go dominate.